It's time for Monday Evening Driver. Getting set to go here. Coming to Victor Lane right now. With Jeremiah and Fish on the highway. You heard it there. It's time once again for Monday Evening Driver. We talk all things NASCAR every Monday evening. Kind of like Monday Morning Quarterback, but we're doing Monday Evening Driver. And like I say, every Monday evening during NASCAR season, Jeremiah Farmer here bringing it to you from inside the Discovery Chevrolet Buick GMC studio on the New River Building Supply afternoon show. Now, Fish is on vacation this week, so I'm all solo for Monday evening driver. We usually bring in host of the Hour to Quest Short Order Lunch, Brian Fisher, to talk NASCAR with us, but he's out. But don't worry, he texted me his pick for Sonoma, and we'll get to that in just a second. Now, on last week's edition of Monday Evening Driver, I picked Chase Elliott to win at Michigan, and Fish picked Joey Logano to win at Michigan, and we did pretty good. Chase Elliott finished second, Joey Logano finished third, but the winner and the guy who pretty much dominated a large majority of the race was Kyle Larson. The dude... Uh, he could get in front and just blow by anybody and check out. And he did that yesterday. You saw that on the very last restart that Larson, once he got clear of the other competitors, he checked out. And Chase Elliott couldn't gain any ground on him. In fact, he kept losing ground. He went from being, you know, point four back down to point eight back and I think finished the race almost a full second back of eventual winner, winner Kyle Larson. So second win of the year for Kyle. Uh, he is a, a dangerous guy because he can run good at so many different kinds of tracks and he loves those two mile tracks where he can ride around, fly around and uh, pick up a lot of speed. So congratulations to Mr. Larson. He joins the club of uh, drivers who have won two races this year. Jimmy Johnson currently stands as the only guy who's won three. And he's definitely a pick to look out for when the playoffs start, when the chase starts. It's going to be hard to bet against Kyle Larson. And congratulations to Chip Ganassi Racing in general. Larson finished first. Jimmy McMurray finished fifth. Both of those cars, the 42 and the 1, have shown tremendous, tremendous speed all throughout the year at all kinds of different tracks, super speedways, mile and a half, short tracks. Uh, they're contending every week, and it's a huge step from where they were a couple years ago, even a year ago to be competing week in and week out with both of their cars says a lot about the advancements that Chip Ganassi Racing has made. So congratulations to them and congratulations to Larson on his win. I felt bad for Chase. That's the third straight time he's finished second at Michigan. He's got to be like, what does a man have to do to get a win around here? <laughs> well, it, it maybe a little more practice on the restarts and my number 24 will be pulling into victory lane hopefully sometime soon. This weekend, we head to Sonoma out in California, what I grew up calling Sears Point, and then for a while was Infineon Raceway. It's now Sonoma. It's the Toyota Save Mart 350 out at the uh, first road course of the year. Now, Fish texted me. He said, I want you to put in a pick for me. He said, I want to pick Kyle Busch to win. And that's a pretty good pick because if you look at the past uh, race winners at Sonoma, Kyle Busch won there back in 2015. He also won there in 2008. So he's a, a guy who knows how to get around multiple different curves. I'm going to pick... Kyle's brother, Kurt Busch. I don't think I've picked Kurt Busch at all this year. I may have picked him one race, or Fish may have picked him one race, but I don't think neither of us have made a habit of picking Kurt Busch to win, but I'm going to pick him this week. I don't know. I've just got a good feeling. I feel like Stuart Haas is due for a win. i thought about picking Kevin Harvick for a long time. Uh, Kevin Harvick has one road course win, and that's at Watkins Glen. Kurt Busch has one road course win, and that was at Sonoma back in uh, 2011, and he's finished really good there. Now, granted, that was in a Dodge. He's in a Ford now with a totally different team, but he has a, a history of really, really high finishes at Sonoma, and I feel like Stuart Haas is due, so I'm going to go for Kurt. Fish is going to go for Kyle and uh, say that uh, Gibbs gets their first uh, points win of the year. So it's going to be interesting to see. You'll hear it this Sunday here on the highway, courtesy of the Performance Racing Network. 
Airtime, a 2 o'clock Sunday green flag drops at 3 because it's out on the West Coast. So later start time. And, of course, you can hear Fish when he gets back from vacation, 11 to 2. And the New River Building Supply afternoon show right here, 3 to 6 every evening. And we're back to more music here on Highway 106 and 1023.